here they come. These 25 goats traveled from upstate New York to spend the summer working in New York City. Oh, we've got Skittles, we've got Chalupa, we've got Ella, Brooklyn, the black one is Brooklyn. Do you have anybody famous like Prince the Goat or anything like that? Well, uh, Brooklyn has been on, a, been on a lot of pictures climbing trees. She, <laughs> she's, a, she's a sex and story goat. If you live anywhere else in the country, it's probably not that novel for you. But here on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, it's a pretty big deal and people are very excited about it. It's the first time a project like this has ever taken place in Manhattan. We're New York, we're New Yorkers, so we're Anything so will happen pigeons. in New York. The effort is part of the Riverside Park Conservancy's Woodland Restoration Initiative. Simply put, they'll go around the park grazing on all the bad stuff, like the poison ivy, pests, and vines that block out sunlight. Because goats can eat 25% of their body weight, that means they'll be pulling their weight. They're being called summer interns. How much are you going to pay these goats? The goats get, get paid in uh, horticulture. They eat whatever they want to eat. They're going to enjoy this all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, and uh, they're going to be excited to be here. Spend a summer in the city. Are you getting paid appropriately for being a summer intern? Do you like the food? No? No? Just, okay. That's fair. You'd rather nibble on yourself than talk to me? Also fine. Okay, nope, that, and that's that. <laughs> Larry Sionek owns Green Goats along with his wife, Anne. They made the trek from Rhinebeck, New York with the animals. They didn't mean to get into the goat business, but when a guy on Staten Island had a similar issue, Larry and his wife faced the problem no one else would. Uh, the guy who ran the park at the time had thorns and poison ivy preventing his guys from going in and cutting up trees whose roots were damaging a fort. And he said, he sent 400 emails out to goat owners asking if somebody would come to New York City with goats. Eight responded, seven said it couldn't be done. We went down and did it. 14 years later, here they are. Larry's goats will stay in a shed in the park where the rent will probably be sky high. While it may seem like no big deal in other more rural places, the animals seem to have been making a break for it lately, popping up in the middle of city streets where there's not a farm in sight. The Kiki's just gonna hold him in the cage bar. He's so cute. We get a call every time there's a goat. Was that your goats running on you know, whatever street. Fun fact, there is one thing about goats that still surprises Larry. Check out this yoga class where the animals literally stand on your back. It's goat yoga. It's got to be a concept that blows my mind. Goats, and don't ask me why I know this, but they poop 11 times a day. So, so while you've got your little yoga outfit on, and there's a cute little goat walking on your back, you are laying... <laughs> and goat pellets. <laughs> this is our, this goat is gonna poop on you. Chances are real good. Confirm. As soon as they got out of the trucks, they left a trail. The goats will go back home in August. Not bad. <laughs> For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.